Now, we joke a lot here about Nanny Linda's baggy mouth, but we have to applaud your openness and your honesty, Linda. Uh, it's at times brutal. I have come up with a new phrase, being lindered, which basically means being on the receiving end of Linda's tough love. So, hands up anyone here who has been lindered. All the crew have got their hands up and all. <laughs> Everyone apart from Sarah. Oh no, you have put your. I have put I've your just put up. a little bit. I've just put a little finger up because it was a tiny little bit, but very. I've not 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 been lindered at all. <laughs> I haven't been horribly lindered. Linda's not one of those people who linders you by going. I just tell it like it is, which means I'm no, going to say don't. something really horrible. She's yeah. just very forthright. So this morning, I came in and what I thought was kind of like my very trend, trend, trendy <laughs> chic dungarees. And she said, where are you going? Play school. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then later on, I'm walking down the corridor. She goes, all right, Andy Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> I just say what comes to my mind. I don't mean it to hurt anybody. Yeah. I just like, and sometimes people ask. Sometimes you say to me, how do I look? And I say, well, maybe you've had a little bit too much Botox. You're beginning <laughs> to look like the Bride of Wildenstein now. And what happened? You stopped having the Botox. That is very you? true. So yeah. There you did go. you? Yes, yes did. I haven't had anything. You took like my that for advice. A, oh, over a year. And Tyra, wow. yeah. Tyra, I find it really difficult to say anything bad about you because you're absolutely beautiful. I love you. But oh. one day you asked how your hair was. It was not long after we came back, and it was quite thin and quite straggly. And so I said, <laughs> maybe tie your hair back or try doing a little bit more to it or whatever, because um, you did ask how it looked, and I just you, told you, you what I thought. You actually said, I've seen better. Oh, and did I, I? And, and that's what <laughs> you did. I remember those words to this day because it's very rare that you've ever said anything like that to me. Oh. And I felt I'd let you down. I actually... <laughs> did you? I'd... Yeah. <laughs> but you came back and your hair looked beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. I can now move my face. So, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, and I'm binning all me dungarees. <laughs> with my kids as well yeah, we know yeah i know do your they push kids. back though do they push back against you and say mind your own or do they take it no, on board they take it on board because bobby girl my youngest daughter she wanted to grow a fringe and i went into her room and there was this little bit of hair on the side so i thought oh she's going to try it before she has her hair cut so she comes down to me with what i think is this piece of hair. like f false hair she goes what do you think mum i went ugly <laughs> said don't suit you <laughs> I said, get it off, and I go over to her and start pulling it, and it's attached. <laughs> She'd cut a fringe. I'm going, get it off, get it off. <laughs> it was like, oh, it don't look that bad. It looks all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, if you have been a victim of Nanny Linda's tough love, oh, we want no. to hear from you. Oh, the phone lines have gone down. <laughs> you know, tsunami of call. <laughs> I've got news just in. Someone heard us talking about being Linda earlier on in the show oh, and has got in touch. Oh, Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> So I was very recently lindered when um, I asked Linda, babe, what do you think of my jumpsuit? She says, the colour's lovely, but you've got no bum. <laughs> and the reason I said that is because my daughter, Bobby, is obsessed <laughs> with bums. You know, like, all the young girls want big bums now. Uh -huh. So I go around looking at everyone's bum. I go, Bob, that's a good bum, isn't it? That's a really good bum. So the bigger the bum, the better the bum is. When we were growing up, it was good to have a small bottom. Now all the girls want big bottoms. Uh -huh. So all I'm doing is looking out for people that have got big bottoms uh -huh. so that we can turn ourselves into these big bottomed people. Okay, yeah. so, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to let you dig yourself in any deeper with that one and say, okay. She um, asked and I told her. <laughs> and I love her. I remember that because we were all there. It was very I know, funny. I love her. Someone else has been in touch about being lindered and they felt so passionately about the subject that they they have phoned in. So, hello, who is this? Hello, hello, Linda. Oh, it's Robson. Leslie. It's Leslie. <laughs> you surely <laughs> didn't, I'd let this, didn't think I'd let this go because I've known you for over 30 years and I have been Lindered practically every <laughs> week of that time. But can I just point out the hair's been cut and the makeup's on and the roots, and the roots have, been, have done. been done. And have you still got your tenor, ladies? Yeah, I knew you were going to say that, because we did Supermarket Sweet not so long ago. So to millions of people now, she said, when Ryland said, have you been to visit Leslie during lockdown? She said, I went to visit my old friend practically every week, and all I took her was Roots and Tenor Ladies. <laughs> so now that will go out to millions of people. And Linda tweezers, Robson. pluck your yeah. chin, I couldn't yeah, have you with whiskers. 
But the only thing is, I'm older than you, so I can't get away with it. You're and quite a lot older back. than me, Miss Joseph. <laughs> I know. Because we're I only know. 62. You're old <laughs> enough to be my mother. <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> The thing is, what people don't realise is that everybody thinks Linda Robson is Tracy Stubbs, but she's not. She's actually much sassier, much smarter, and she's very, very quick-witted. I so am. So she always gets, don't you? You always have one up on me. I do, yeah, I do. I'm, when you but ask me, does this look nice, I have to tell you the truth, don't I? It's like when Pauline <laughs> let her hair go grey, and she went, does this look all right? I went, no, you've got to sort your roots out, love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Leslie, thank you so much for ringing in. That Love was you, really, 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 really,